Hey, it's Adore, Tactical High. We got Dutch here with me today. Hey, oh. And uh, we're going to be covering corner fed entries up next. All right, guys, so we're back. And uh, if you didn't uh, see our first video on the center fed and crossing the threshold, go ahead and check that one out. Today's video, we're gonna be covering corner fed rooms. A Little bit different, but the end result is the same. And I submit to you, they're easier. They're actually yeah. easier. Yeah. Uh, corner fed room is almost brainless, especially when it comes to a four man team. Now we're only gonna be using two men in this video, but uh, when it comes to a four man team, the corner fed is completely and utterly Lovely, right? Uh, center fed rooms can be an issue at times for the three and four men, but uh, the corner fed rooms are always bonus, right? So again, as a number one man, I still want to take two, right? So we still want to form an L shape in here. But if I say I'm taking two, then the first corner is right here. That's one and two. Number two man is going to come in here and do a one corner. That's it. So we'll still have a, a L shape, but we'll be in opposite sides of the room. Yeah, cool. Overlapping sectors of fire. Overwhelming firepower, speed, surprise, violence of action, and in we go. Stacking. Uh -huh. Let's stack. Let's stack. Let's stack. But before we make entry, I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, one being safety. So some law enforcement agents and agencies will have you at the door and rotate your selector lever to fire. That's a no-no. See, this is what we do. We make entry, you scan your primary sectors of fire. Once you see a threat, you it's a whole psychological event. You're seeing the threat, you raise the rifle, you rotate the electric lever, you put your finger in the trigger well, and then you can fire the weapon. Okay, that's, that's the only way it works. If you choose to do a high port as a number two or beyond, I don't really care. But I will also submit to you that if I see a threat quickly, this is much faster than that. And when we're talking close quarter battle, we're talking milliseconds, fractions of seconds mm -hmm. to save his life, my mate's life, your family's life. That's how I would teach it. And it's a tool in the tool bag for you. Now, at the stack, another thing. I, the, you know, a lot of instructors talk about angles and they talk about footwork. I'm gonna cover footwork in one small phrase. Be athletic. I don't care if you unlock your hips, lock your hips, move your feet around, dance around, lead with your left, lead with your right. Just be athletic. If you're athletic, you won't fall on the door well. If you're athletic, you won't run into the chair. If you're athletic, you won't stumble in the door and cause your mate behind you to fall over top of you and then everybody's a Keystone cop right here in the portal and everybody gets shot. Be athletic. Number two, I am not going to present myself anywhere near the portal before I make entry, right? This is a secret. I don't want anybody in there to know what kind of firepower we have out here. Understood? Of course you do. Now, once I line myself up to this door, you, there's a numerous techniques you can use to tell other people behind you that it's closed or it's open or I want a banger or whatever. Those are going to be up to you and your team and how you develop those techniques, tactics, and procedures throughout your evolutionary career in law enforcement or in military. Or if you have a finely tuned, honed civilian force that can do the same thing. So, just like the pistol video we showed you last week, and if you didn't see it, you should. You should check it out. My number two man is gonna come from behind me and he's gonna run the show. He's gonna grab hold of me to make sure I don't go in there by myself because Singleton CQB sucks, right? He's gonna get ready to go and he's gonna put his hand on me, make sure I don't go any further, and he's gonna give me a squeeze. He squeezes me. I'm pregnant pause time, and now I'm gonna make entry. Now, which way do I go? Left or right? Does it matter? Yep, yeah, it's up to you. It doesn't matter, because the guy behind me is gonna go? The other way. The opposite man, the opposite of the man in front of you. That's exactly right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go the path of least resistance. I can clearly see from my position right here that that wall is exposed, and it runs down that way. So I'm assuming in my little mind, 
that that's this corner fed room. So as soon as I make entry, I'm gonna use this as my first corner. My second corner will be back there and it'll be my primary marker and my point of domination. All right, last time I went path of least resistance. This time I'm gonna go ahead and button hook. I'm gonna use a rifle retraction technique so I don't walk around the corner in fully presented rifle mode and it, take me, it will take me too long to get through this portal. Right? I will show you that I will use a gun retraction technique to get around that corner, keeping in mind I'm being, trying to be athletic, and then push the rifle forward into my corner and move out. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, ready? So as you can see, as we came into the room, we uh, went our separate ways, stayed on as the uh, two man. I'm staying on this wall and I don't want to be like up against it. I don't want to be getting caught on things. And so what's know? the reason for that? Uh, well, bullets travel down walls and then you don't want to get snagged on anything, cut on anything. Um, exactly. Obviously in a low light environment, you don't, you can't really see everything, everything. So you want to stay about a foot off of the wall, be able to move freely, but I'm going to stay on this wall for the initial entry so that Dutch knows exactly where I am. What about coming into the room? Sorry? What about coming in the middle of the room? Do you want to do that? I uh, no. No, you don't, right? No, How do come? Not. Because that is where the magic happens and you don't want to be exactly where the magic there happens. Is exactly right. It's because we have primary and secondary overlapping sectors of fire. The middle of the room is not part of that, right? This is where the enemy dwells. We live on the walls, right off the walls, get to our points of domination, primary sectors of fire, secondary sectors of fire, fine work, it's finished. Let's go ahead and move out and do something else whatever those things may be. Uh, so exactly right. Stay off the walls, stay out of the center of the room. All right, so we went over the corner fed room, two man clearance, corner fed room, and a little bit of gun retraction, right? If you hadn't checked out that first video in our CQB library, you should have. We talked about the responsibilities of the guy when he comes in, whether he takes the path of least resistance or he button hooks using a gun retraction technique. He gets to his point of domination, he collapses his primary sector of fire and his secondary sector of fire, and of course, what's he do in the end? He looks for work, mm -hmm. All right? Make sure if you're in a CQB environment, you're not like him. He's unarmed. You wanna be armed. Yeah, he should have armed himself. Should have played himself. Typical. Don't just so, stand there. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> so if you like what you saw, of course, we, we really want you to like, subscribe, share it, and hit the bell. And hopefully uh, you'll be on board with us next time. See you on the range.